everyone, my name is Weya and I make plant content here on my channel. Welcome to this week's episode. So for today's video, I just want to have a very short haul because I had a very unexpected plant shopping. I bought them online and I had to meet up with the owners or with the sellers and pick them up. But yes, of course, still have to be very safe, wear masks, wear gloves and all things like that. So now let's start with the first plant. The first one is this big, huge, massive snake plant. <laughs> I know I've told you guys I'm very particular with snake plants. Not I don't like all snake plants. There are a few species or types that I like. Is it species? There's a certain... Yes, <laughs> I'm just wearing pajama today. So there is a cert there are certain plants that I like and there are certain plants that I don't really like. But this one is one of the plants or one of the snake plants that I really like because the shape of this is not the usual snake plant that's like ones that are flat and wide. This one is like the sword. And the way it grows, it grows, it looks a bit like of a starfish. I don't know if there's a different snake plant that looks like a starfish or if this is the one. I'm not very familiar of the snake plant names because as I've told you guys, I'm not like there are only very few snake plants that I like. And with the names, I honestly can't remember snake plant names. There are only two plants or there are only two names that I will always remember. One is the moonshine because that's one that's the snake plant that made me like snake plants. And two is the whale fins and Siberia. So those are the two snake plant names that I will always remember. And this one, I got it online. I honestly expected a smaller plant when I bought this one. I did ask like the height of the plant it says like 86 centimeters for the height. But still when I saw it, how wide it is, especially this one particular plant, this one, I'm sitting upright and the plant is still quite taller than me. And yes, I put it on this thing and I do need to repot it which i don't know if i can do because oh my god i do not know how to show it to you guys maybe something like that look look at the bottom of the pot it's root bound like crazy crazy root bounded so needs a very big repotting session so i don't know how many plants there are in this one pot but i'm pretty sure there are more than 10 plants but i don't want to break them apart because this thing is majestic i want to show you the 360 degree of this plant see look how beautiful that is i can't imagine how old this plant is i did not even ask i don't know guess maybe you guys know maybe how old this plant is or you have any idea but this is one big plant yep that's a huge plant and then the next plant that i want to show you guys is another huge plant that i do not know if i can carry but i will try this look how huge that is again <laughs> it's root bounded like crazy i need to repot this look i need to repot this plant and maybe put a taller trellis like just carrying it makes me like <sighs> this plant is so heavy this is a syngonium but i do not know which syngonium i have a green syngonium but it doesn't look like this i haven't shown it to you guys this one is that I think the normal green syngonium. She was selling this syngonium and a similar size of a like the butterfly syngonium, the white butterfly, I think. Yeah, she was selling this green one and the butterfly syngonium, but I was attracted more to this, the all green syngonium, because the butterfly one, I always see it. Like, I know maybe this one is even more common than that one, but I don't really see this one more very often in the shops especially this size so i was like i'm gonna take this plant and yes i took it home and see this baby plant look how huge that is i can't wait to put it in a really really good trellis because look at this much growth it's not even on a trellis anymore this growth this is gonna be a huge plant see i have a problem with big plants i just was few few videos ago i said i had a problem with space and then the moment i had a chance to shop big plants i was like yep buying them now the next one 
it's not a very it's not a very big plant it's not a very big plant it's the, one of the tiniest i've like it's the tiniest that i bought but it's one of them i guess it's like oh that's a very beautiful plant and let me just grab it for you the next plant is a begonia i guess i'm getting better and better at them and it's a begonia carolina begonia carolina i don't know how to say the name of this plant but the size of its leaves the sheer size of its leaves look how big those leaves are oh my goodness oh my goodness look at that look at that i have i have a thing for big leaves look how beautiful that is that shiny shimmering splendid <laughs> look how oh my god that's just so beautiful and look at the size the size man the size of the leaves and look at i still even haven't repotted it yet i will be doing a repotting video and fingers crossed it will not go bad again the video so i haven't repotted it yet i have quite few plants that i need to repot especially this yeah i quite i have i bit i have a bit of plants that i need to repot and yes this is my begonia this, oh my god i i've been eyeing this plant for so long like so long so so long i did not want it to be shipped i wa really really wanted to pick up this plant because i don't know it's a begonia i oh this is the leaves look at that this is the front side of the leaves look at the back side of its leaves do you see that reddish hue to it do you see that and when you see, when you do it like that it kind of becomes pink and red and a bit like purplish isn't that so pretty and then the new growth it's a bit of a translucent leaf like you can see how translucent that is from this very small leaf it becomes bigger and bigger and the back side of the new leaf look at that it's a pretty like salmonish color look at that look at that isn't that pretty <laughs> oh my god yes it is so pretty that's why i just had to get it and yes i have to repot it i need to give it a good soil i need to change this plastic pot i mean yeah i need to change this i need to give it like a good support to it because it's becoming top heavy because of these two massive leaves on top and i don't want it to like lean sideways i want it to grow straight like that yeah i want it to grow straight like that i don't want it to lean sideways so i will be putting like a very thin stick and let that stick support this very beautiful plant <laughs> that is it for this video i hope you will guys will like this video and if I won't be and then for that reporting video that I was telling you guys about I'm sorry but I don't think I will be able to show that video I think I'll just make our new reporting video in the same space where I was reporting it and then I will just show you guys all the plants that I reported and how I attached trellis let's just describe how I attach those trellis on those plants I think maybe that's a better thing to do than, than to do a voiceover so yeah thank you guys for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed seeing the new plants the new babies added to my collection thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye